What if you understood the deepest needs men have that they will rarely, if ever, share with a woman? How much more confident and attractive would you feel if you knew you could give a guy exactly what he needs, even if he can't articulate it? If you want to know the answer, stick around because I'm about to reveal this in my video today. First need men have that will rarely, if ever, express to you is the need for you to have physical and sexual boundaries. Before you throw a tomato at me, please hear me out. Men in this day and age, unfortunately, are going to place you into one of two camps. Camp number one, a woman I can have fun with, a woman I can have sex with, a woman I don't want to introduce my friends or family, you're the hidden secret, and that's it. Category number two is going to be a woman that demands nothing but the best for me, who I have to show up as my best self for, who can't just be connecting to any guy. She has standards and boundaries, which makes me more special, which makes me work harder, which creates emotional connection, which makes it far less likely that I'm going to disappear because I got bored. So if that's the kind of woman that you want to introduce to your family, it's unlikely that a guy will ever say, hey, date number two, I'm gonna ask you to have sex with me. Please say no so that I can work harder to get you. Guys won't say that. But if the guy is really looking for commitment, he's needing to see the value in you. And if you show up that way, he's going to be far more likely to put you in a different category and do what it takes to commit. Need number two, need for emotional support. Most of us men, unfortunately and sadly, are raised to not express emotions and to not feel like we need emotional support from anyone. All alone, I can conquer the world, I can sacrifice, I can risk, I can die, and I don't need anything from anyone. This is not true, unfortunately. This is not true that we can go through life this way, and if you ever hear anyone say to you that men are not emotional beings, they don't know what they're talking about. We are highly emotional beings. Many times don't express those emotions in the way that you need to understand us, Please make no mistake, we have suns and stars and universes behind these closed doors that if you have the patience in some ways and the tact in other ways, we can unleash and open and share more with you than we've ever shared before. There's a few ways you can facilitate this, and not for every guy, for a guy who's ripe for sharing more. And I'm talking about emotional connection, emotional support. Number one is expectations. If your expectations of the guy that you connect with is going to be a man who can't express himself, who can't show emotions, then he's probably just going to show up that way and validate that your thoughts are true and continue this trend forever. If you have a higher expectation of him, he might show up differently. I'm not saying he will, but he might. Number two, hold space for him. This means that you're able to connect to your heart and share with vulnerability what you want, what you need, what you dream about, what you're connected to, not all at once, but a little bit at a time and one and one. That means that you don't share everything and he hasn't shared anything. You share a little bit, he shares a little bit. You share a little bit more, he shares a bit more. Here's what happens when you do it this way, you train the guy that this reciprocity is the way to go. If you share 10 things and he hasn't shared a thing, you're enabling he's not sharing and you're doing it in a way that's gonna hurt you down the line. The third way is to invite him to step up. This means have that extra conversation that you feel scared of having. Ask that extra question. When you see that there's something going on behind his demeanor, because you're sensitive and he's not expressing it, you're not forcing him to say anything, but you can safely say, hey, it's safe to share with me. I won't judge you for what you say. If you ever want to share a sense that there's something happening behind those eyes, if you ever want to share it with me, not only would I appreciate it, but I prefer it. I love a man who's connected with his emotions and who's courageous enough to share it with me. It means the world. When you say it this way, he might be 10 times more likely to share what's happening behind his thoughts and his feelings, and you might gain a stronger friendship and stronger commitment. The third need men have that will rarely say out loud is they need you to have strong preferences. They need you to not be vanilla. What music do you like? Any music. And what is your favorite food? All foods. And no one wants that. The more you're clear about what you want, what you intend, what you love, what you hate, 
the clear path you give him to win your heart. He doesn't have to guess. He doesn't have to read your mind. He understands that there's things that you prefer, things that you don't prefer. You're not playing safe so that he likes you more. You're sharing it the way you feel it. And when you share it this way, the right guy will want you more. The wrong guy will more quickly evaporate into nothingness. But you won't be in this middle gray area, mediocre space of kind of sharing something that's super safe, not expressing your heart fully, share more of who you are, share your strong preferences, don't shy around it, and watch him, if he's the right guy for you, show up stronger. Now, before I share my last two needs, which are some of the strongest ones, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not fully aware of the root cause of why you're single. What I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women from all walks of life, every kind of love challenge you can imagine, to attract their ideal life partners to do so in a fraction of the time. And all you have to do if you want to understand what's holding you back, what's your blind spot, is go to the first link in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions, and in 60 seconds or so, you'll have two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and number two, custom report that's going to share with you based on your specific blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want and not experience more pain in the process. Fourth need is being needed. Having a woman who's clear and confident enough to need a man in the healthiest of ways, which is interdependence. It's not codependence. It's not independence. It's interdependence. Here's the truth. And please hear me out. If you don't need the guy that you're with and he knows it, he's going to disconnect, he's going to disengage, and it's going to be far more likely that he's going to go with someone who's less intelligent than you are, less beautiful than you are, less worthy, if you want to call it, than you are, but actually needs him. This is something we can't do without, and this is something that many women these days have to work hard at expressing. I'm not saying that you need him to make decisions for you that you can make on your own. There's going to be a quality of life, a quality of connection, an expression of your soul that will not come with you meditating in a mountain. If you're clear enough to understand what that is and can express it to your guy, he'll be 10 times more likely to commit to you. The absence of that, good luck having him commit. <laughs> the last need is the need for admiration. He's never going to say, you don't admire me, therefore I need to move forward or I need to go out or connect with somebody else, or I don't feel it from you. But think about this. If you don't admire a guy, why on earth are you with him? And if you do admire the guy, but you can't express it, that's one of those things that unfortunately our fragile ego, which is more fragile than you can imagine, and our vulnerable heart needs. We work super hard to be your hero if possible. We work really hard to make your life easier and better. If you don't share with us the way you feel about us, it's gonna be less likely that we'll continue showing up this way. When you share admiration with a guy, you set an identity for him. Here's what I see in you. Here's what I experience from you. Here, here's what I expect under the lights from you. Be clear, be specific. Now, my recommendation is if this is meaningful to you, listen to this video again and make sure that you can see the gap in each one of those points between where you are when you'd like to be and do what you can right now. I have multiple videos on each of these topics to get closer to what you want to close that gap. If you found this video helpful and useful, it would mean the world to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract your ideal guy without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.